I'm going to show you something really cool you can do with Adobe Express. So we have the Adobe Express subscription and you can go ahead and do all kinds of things similar to Canva, um, presentations, slides, posters, websites, all kinds of really, really cool things and do it very simply. But Adobe Express also has this really cool thing where you can make a animated character talk. I mean, the character kind of stays there, but his mouth will move. So we're going to play with that today. So once you log in, and there is a specific way to get here to get the education one, and um, here is the link to that. So if you go there, you can go ahead and check out how to make sure you're signed in with your education account. But we're going to go on this home screen, go down just a little bit to where you see animate characters. I'm going to go ahead and open up that. And I'm greeted with this fall one that has a pumpkin. So here's the critter I can make talk, and here's my background. So here's all of the guys that you can use. So these are the built-in ones. And you can use these for storytelling or creating any kind of little animated speaking character. And they're great. There's a lot here to choose from. But I want to make a photo that I have talk. So if I go down just a little bit, you'll see just these like mouths right here. So you've got some lips and they've named some of them and happy. I'm going to pick this grumpy one. And the problem is I'm going to have this little mouth and it's going to talk, but I've got this background that I don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger. So you can just kind of drag it, make it as big as you want. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and you can see right here, we're under the character. If I go to the background, I can change what I want. I'm going to put this mouth on top of a photo of something else. So I'm going to go down to this transparent. You could choose any background you want. Any of these are fine. But because I want this talking mouth to be on an existing photograph, I'm going to go ahead and hit the transparent. And what that's going to do is put this grid-like um, background on there. And that just means the background is transparent. So you have a choice down here. There's enhanced speech that does make it a little bit clearer, especially if you're in a classroom or something. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And I'm going to record something. And you have up to, you can see, two minutes or one gig max. But this, you would do short little things. You don't want to do an hour-long conversation. And the longer it is, the bigger the file. So I'm going to do a quick little just talk just to make it really quick and easy. So I'm going to hit record. And it's going to do a countdown. Hey, hey, brow, let's go outside and play. Brow. And I'm going to click the Done button when I'm done. And it's going to enhance my audio. And it's going to take a minute sometimes. Depending on how long it is, it'll take longer. But mine was pretty short, so it should be pretty quick. OK. Now, I get this little warning icon here. And it says that I should download this because it has a transparency background. I have to open it in the editor. So all I have to do is click this button right here, which is what I want to do anyhow, because right now all I have is this talking little frowny face. Now I can demo it and see what it looks like. Hey, hey, let's go outside and play. So it takes the motions that you would be speaking and puts them on. Now, any one of those characters would have done the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and open this in the editor. So now what I have here is my little clip, my little video. But you can see now it doesn't have that little grid pattern in the background. So I need to change that. So I'm going to click on it once and go straight up to where it says background color. When I click on that, it's going to bring up. Now I could change that to any color I wanted. I can make it blue if I wanted. but I want it transparent. So I'm going to leave it on the white. You can kind of see it slid way up there. And this is your transparency slider. If I slide that all the way down, you can see that grid start to appear in the background. Remember that gray and white checkerboard means it's transparent. So I'm going to slide it all the way over to its 0%. And then I can just click off and it goes away. So what I have now is just this talking mouth. Hey, hey, let's go outside and play. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to resize this a little bit smaller and just kind of tuck it over here for a second. And I'm going to drag a picture that I've downloaded to my computer to use as my background. So I'm going to bring over my son's cat. Her name is Murder Mittens. 
and I'm going to take that cat and I'm going to make it the full size of the screen. Now I want to, before I cover up, and you see how this is over the top of that little um, frowny face? I'm going to click on that frowny face, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to bring it to the front. And what I'm doing is making it so now this is on top of that. If I right click, go down to send to the back, when I move it over, it disappears. And you don't want that. I want this on top. So I'm going to right click on this one, bring it to the front, and then I can bring Little Murder Mittens wherever I want her in the picture. So I'm going to kind of center her here. I'll put her right about there. And then I'm going to grab that little frowny face. Whoops. There we go. And I'm going to drag it to her mouth. Now it's not quite lined up exactly. So you see this little arrow? I can tilt it. As you can see, I can tilt it to match up to her mouth a little bit better. And it's a little too big, so I'm going to shrinky-dinky-do it a little bit. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm just going to line it up, and I can test it. Hey, hey, let's go outside and play. So I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller so it fits inside her chin. Try it again. Hit the play button. Hey, hey, let's go outside and play. Okay, so when I think it's good, and it looks like just my little kitten cat there with this little bit of a, a frown that's already matching her lip shape, all I have to do is go up here in the top to this little download icon, and I'm going to click the download. And you can change, leave all this just like it is and just click download. Now keep in mind, you can do this on a Chromebook. You can do it on any other device, so it's really easy to do. So wherever you send your downloads is where this is going to go. So right now it's creating it. When it's done creating it, it's going to download it. And then I can use that in anything, a slide deck, um, any kind of, uh, even a document, anything that would work. So I'm going to call this uh, Murder Mittens Chatting. And it's saved to my desktop. So when I hit and play this, this hey, is what I'm hey, going to get. Let's go outside and play. So you get a really good, quick, easy video of an image and it allows it to talk. So you can use these in any one of your kind of projects and stuff. So there's a lot of other things you can do. And like I was saying, you could also go back to the home screen. And I could have just chosen any one of the main setup ones. So let's just pick this little dude right here. And I could have just left this alone, not done a thing. I'm going to make him a little smaller because he's kind of taken over the whole screen. Of course, I just went all out on it. And I'm going to change the background. I could just put him in the middle of a classroom here. Hit the record button. Hey, this is really cool. Super simple to do. Check it out. Hit the done. This is really easy where all I had to do is a couple clicks and I can download this image and it's great. So I can just hit the play button on this. Hey, this is really cool. Super simple to do. Check it out. And you can do them that simply or like I did in the first project, actually adding it to an existing image. And all you have to do is click the download button and I've got a character video ready to go. I think it's really cool. It's pretty easy. And like I said, you can do it on a Chromebook, a PC, a Mac, anything. So hope you explore that and have some fun.